is talking about senses. The senses in Bahasa is Panca Indra. The five basic senses uh, these are sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. The use of basic verb is followed by an adjective or noun in this construction. Now please uh, you compare these senses to the others by the examples. The looks terrible. Um, it looks terrible. It means from what I could see. He sounds German. It's from what I hear. It tastes strange. From tasting it, it feels soft. From touching it, it smells wonderful. From smelling it, the verb can be used as noun. She hates the smell of petrol. We could hear the sound of flute. She really likes the taste of olives. I didn't like the look of the fish. Now please you compare the words of verb of see, look at, and watch. Compare these examples of see, able to see, with look for something, it equals with search for, try to find, look at something, it means pay attention to something, and usually not moving in for a short time, and watch, it pay attention to something, not moving usually for a long time. I hope you can compare it. Okay, now take a look in these examples. I can't see a thing without any glasses. I'm not able to see anything. I can't find my keys and I've looked everywhere. Looked for everywhere. Looked for means search or look carefully. The police have been watching that man for weeks. If you look at the map, you can see the mountains on the left. Look at means look carefully. See means are able to see. He ran into me because he wasn't looking. Look here means paying attention. In this case, the speaker seems angry. He ran into me because he wasn't looking. He ran into me because he didn't see. The use of see here different with look. In this case, the speaker is not angry. He didn't see means he wasn't able to see me. Sometimes two verbs are possible in one context, sometimes only one. For instance, I saw, you can use saw or see and watch. I saw or watch a great program last night. I saw a great program last night. I watched a great program last night. It used for TV. I saw a great film last night at the cinema. The use of see here only for the cinema. You cannot use watch in this case. Okay, now let's try to compare the use of hear and listen to. Hear means to be able to hear. Listen to means to pay attention to things you hear. Now compare it into examples. I couldn't hear what she said. I was physically unable to hear. I can sometimes hear the trains from my bedroom. It means I'm able to hear without trying. I don't know what she said because I wasn't listening. In this case, the use of listen means you pay attention to the something else or to the situation. I was listening to the radio. You pay attention to it when I heard a strange noise outside. Sometimes we can use hear but not in the progressive form to mean listen to. For instance, I know he's dead. I heard it on the radio last night. I hear it when I was listening. Now, talking about touch. 
we we have to compare the use of touch here with um, the action you do such as touch press and hold compare it into examples don't touch these wires they are dangerous you have to press the button to start the machine I don't feel safe up here. Could you hold my hand? That's all for the explanation. I hope you understand.